Hey everyone, it's BJ with Team Body by BJ, and we're here today to make the famous Waldorf chicken salad. We're going to make it really simple, really easy, and really healthy. So this is what you're going to need. You're going to need your 0% Greek fat yogurt, your all-natural chicken breast, boneless, skinless, of course. You're going to need your cinnamon, a chopper, your almonds, a cup of cranberries. We're going to do two small organic celery we're also going to do one Granny Smith apple, so you're going to need your core, a peeler, a knife, your spoon, a big container to put everything in, and then also two boiling pots of water. So what we're going to do to start is we're going to take our chicken. It's still frozen. So we're going to take three. Take our lid off of our already boiling pot of water. We're just going to throw them in. Go ahead and let you guys look at that. Simple, easy. Throw it on in. At the same time, we're going to take our cranberries, put in our boiling pot of water, and we're going to let them go until they start popping. So while those are cooking, we're going to go ahead, we're going to grab it real quick. As good as the peels are for you, because they have lots of vitamins and minerals and a lot of your extra fiber, it's just going to make it easier when we put it all together in our salad. We're going to take as much of the skin off as we can. Once that's done, we're going to take our core, put it right in the middle. Pull it all the way down, take the core out, bring our apples off, put those to the side. If there's any type of seeds or extra core that's left in, just take your knife and simply just cut the parts off that you don't enjoy to eat and that aren't very edible. Once we're done with those, we're going to take them in our chopper, we're going to throw them on in. top. Once we're done with those, we're just going to throw them in our bowl. You use your spoon. Once we're done with that, just put it aside. We're going to take our celery, take it nice and lengthwise, cut it right down the center, put it on top. We're just going to cut them into little chunks. Just a little something, add a little bit of crisp into the salad. So while we're doing that, we're also going to take our nuts. And you can use any type of nuts. You can use almonds, you can use pecans, you can use walnuts, really whatever you like to eat best. Take about two handfuls, which is going to be about a quarter cup. Same thing. And we're going to do basically one cup of our non-fat Greek yogurt. Same thing, just get all the excess that's left behind. We're going to check on our cranberries to see how they're coming along. And like I said, you can use any fruit. If you don't want to use cranberries and you wanted to use, you know, pineapple, you could use raisins, you could use already dried cranberries or any other type of dried fruit. Just really whatever you like best. So it's going to take a little bit of cinnamon, give it just a little extra spice to it, and mix it in there nice and good. Let's check in our cranberries. They're boiling pretty good here, so we're going to turn them off. It's going to be a little warm to the touch. 
So make sure that you have your handy dandy oven mitt. We'll take those off. We'll bring them over to the sink. We'll just dump those in there. Get all the excess fluid out. We're just going to let them cool off because they're still going to be really, really warm. So if you want to use that same pot, and just put it right on in there, like any type of excess fluid that's in there. Let's check on our chicken. It's looking pretty good. It's getting nice and white, nice and flaky. We're going to give it about a good 20 more minutes. So while that keeps boiling, we're going to put our cover on top. We'll be back in 30 minutes to go ahead, shred up the chicken, put it in, and our meal will be ready. Right, so our chicken is all cooled. I've already shredded about 95% of it. And all we're going to do to shred it, you literally just pull the pieces off. And the reason why I'm such a fan of boiled chicken is because it's so simple. It's so versatile. You can use it anywhere. If you want to put it in your stews, you can put it in your stews or your soups, your casseroles. You can heat it up with your vegetables or your sweet potatoes. Add spices to it. And it's just really, really easy. It's more moist than if you bake or if you grill your chicken because you're putting it in water. You're adding water to it at the same time. So since we're almost done completely shredding the chicken up, once we're done with that, we're going to add it into our salad. We're going to add the cranberries that are also cooled as well. And we will have a delicious, tasty, and healthy Waldorf chicken salad. So we're going to take our chicken and put it right into the salad. We'll give that a good couple stirs. Make sure we get all the yogurt on it. And if you wanted to add a little bit more yogurt to make it a little bit more moist, you could always do that. It really just depends on your taste. Since we've got that pretty much all scooped in there, and mix in quite well. We're going to grab our cranberries. And cooked up, they make maybe about a quarter cup. So we'll just spoon those on in there. Stir it up, and it adds a great little coloring to the salad as well. Plus, the sweetness of it just enhances the flavor of the celery and the apples and the nuts and the chicken and the yogurt as well. Plus you have the cinnamon in there, so it's gonna have a little bit of a bite to it as well. So once we're done, everything is mixed up. You have a fantastic, healthy Waldorf chicken salad. I hope you guys enjoy it, let me know, and I'll be seeing you on the next edition. Bye now.